Hi, teacher. Good night. Hello. Good evening. Sorry good for evening, being teacher. sorry for being late. Um, I was having uh, internet issues, but I fixed it already. Well, my wife did. Yeah. Hey, no problem, teacher. Yes. Yeah, so I know that time is time is money. So, anyways, it, it's good okay. to see you again. How was the weekend? <clears throat> it was good. It's fine, teacher. Okay. Very good. fine, teacher. Fine, good. Very good. Nice, nice. Did you do anything different uh, this time? Yes, a lot of cars and people walking in the street. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There is not quarantine. No, not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Uh, people, people seem to. Um, I don't know how to say it. Like they think because we don't have any more quarantine, uh, the virus is not here anymore, which is completely yeah. wrong. You know, completely we have to wrong. we have to take care more of ourselves uh, more now than ever. You know, so sad, but it's true. Yep. Yeah. So so, anyways. Uh, Sorry, once again, uh, I'm, I'm starting 15 minutes late. Um, like I told you, I was having internet issues. So it's um, June 22nd. Do you guys remember what we did on Thursday? Last Thursday. Uh, about fall in love, teacher. Right. We were talking about uh, when someone falls in love. Yes. And we also mentioned that falling in love is easier than staying in love. You know, staying in love is the real mission. Yes. Right? So anyways, uh, what else did we do? Do you remember? We read an article. Okay, article about what? About falling in love. Okay, right, right. And that's what we're saying right now, you know, like staying in love is harder than falling in love. Um, do you guys have any questions about um, last class? No questions? No. no. Okay, so I will assign you to work in there so you guys talk a little bit about the different things you guys did on the weekend. So let okay. me break out rooms. What part of the platform are you guys in? Where in the platform are you right now? Um. Finish the unit four. Okay, good. Finishing unit four, that's where everybody should be. So if for some reason you are a little bit behind, try to finish this week. Remember that this is our last week, so uh, don't uh, accumulate work. So by the time we finish this, you are able uh, for, uh, mm -hmm. to go to the next level. So let me create the pairs. Da -da -da. Here we go. Rachel, uh, yes. Rem remember that I opened the windows because my uh, my computer right. camera doesn't doesn't work, right? Okay, right. Good, good. No thank, problem. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Sure.
we, my my wife and I, we uh, went to the to the household her mother and my wife and uh, my mother-in-law uh, cook uh, churros españoles and ate uh, chicken soup and Good. Hello. Hello, teacher. What is the instruction? Uh, just talk about what you guys did on the weekend. Mm. Talk about the activities you guys did on the weekend. Uh, on the okay. weekend. Okay. Uh, on the weekend. So it, that way you guys practice your simple past tense. Okay. Right. Okay. Go ahead, right. please. Okay, allow you, allow you to study English in a normal way. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, for the reason I'm studying right now. Okay. It's almost, your case is almost uh, my own case. Yeah? Yeah. Tell I, me. Uh, English, how, uh, uh, I don't know, 40, 45, 46 years old, around. Okay. So he 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 had a, a problem with with the the fresh the fresh expression. I don't know what is the this, this issue, but uh, he had a, a big problem of your health. So uh, after the this uh, after I don't know before before that he infect is infected by the virus. He is very young, very happy, and um, I don't know what what happened what happened with your body and with your, your health. He was your co-worker or or only friend? No, he's my co-worker. He was a, a he was a. My he was a bus. Ah, okay. Did you have a long time to meet him? Henry? Around around five years. Five years. Oh, it's very sad eh, about the yeah. eh, eh, many died. Yeah, and he very, was very... A, a friend of the teacher. Yeah, I knew it was. Yeah. Yeah, I met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I have a Facebook account that uh, I haven't checked since last December. But now with this emergency, I began to use it like ten days ago. And ten days ago up till today, two people that I know have lost their lives because of COVID uh, nineteen. Mm -hmm. You know. It's a very serious situation. Yeah, but the die of the, the this person is very fast because Eduardo went to the hospital in the uh, around uh, ten, ten, 10 days before and and he died you know in the in the morning of the Sunday. Yeah. Poor guy. Yeah, I, I was checking some pictures of his mother and his father today. They must feel really, really bad. Something very unexpected. Anyways. Okay, so I for, think for it's... This, for this reason, I have a, a bad weekend. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I was surprised because... His cousin, she published on Facebook that they needed blood. It was new for me. So I said, okay, so he's in the hospital. I hope he's doing better. And uh, 
on the Saturday, I think, was the day that, uh, uh, that he died, right? So I, I read that uh, he was tagged and someone was saying, rest in peace, and, but too bad. Yep. Okay, so let's go back to the main session. All right, are there any questions about using uh, simple past tense and past continuous? No? Okay, so now we're going to be uh, talking about a different topic that it's called how to show agreement with another person. So, some of you guys have seen this already. Do you remember this section? Have you been here yet? Have you gotten to this um, topic in the platform? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. So here we have two different things. Here we're talking about verbs that are followed by gerunds. Who remembers what a gerund is? What's a gerund? Verb plus ing. Good, exactly. Verb plus ing. That's what we mean when we say gerunds. As you can see, we have three examples. The first one says, I like traveling, I hate working on weekends, and I'm good at using a computer. So these verbs here, uh, they can be used with a gerund form. That is one. The second one is how to agree or disagree. When you say, I like traveling, that is an action. When you go from one place to another, that's an action. An action. I hate working on weekends. That is also an action. If the original statement includes an action, you can say me too, me either, or if you prefer, you can say so do I, if it's an action. With the third one, you said I'm good at using a computer. That is also using an action, but here you include the verb to be. So I'm good at using a computer, so the person next to you can say, me too, or I'm not. But in this case, when you agree that you have the same opinion, you say, so am I, so am I. So it's not only saying me too or me either, but you can also respond or agree by doing this form. So do I or so am I. When you disagree, you literally say the opposite. I like traveling. Oh, I don't. I hate working on weekends. Really? I like it. Notice that when you disagree with somebody, you can say it in different forms. There is not one particular form to say that you don't agree with the original sentence. I'm good at using a computer. If you disagree, you say, gee, I'm not. Okay, uh, are there any questions with this first part? What is the meaning of G? G is, is an informal way to say, man, I'm not. G. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Um, only for men. Only for men. Or no, no. It, it can it's, refer to uh, girl. Yes. Yeah. So if you're talking with a girl and she says, "Look, I I love chocolate ice cream." Gee, I totally agree with you. Same thing. So it can be used with with ladies or with gentlemen. Either way. 
Okay, thank you. Yep. All right. Now with the second part, the original sentence is negative. He says, I don't mind working long hours. If you agree, you will say, neither do I. I'm not good at selling. Neither am I. And I can't stand making mistakes. Neither can I. So here you have do, am, and can. The opposite of don't is do. If you say I'm not in the original sentence, the complement should be positive. And then you said I can't stand making mistakes. Neither can I. So this is another option of how you guys can either agree or disagree. Um, any questions or comments here? Yes, teacher. Uh, wow. When you answer uh, on this way, you wow. just has to, to say, neither do I. You cannot say me neither. Uh, you can. Yes, you can. Uh, this is another option that you have to either agree or disagree. But the one you just mentioned is also valid. You say, me either. Yeah, it's, it's acceptable. Okay, thank you. Sure. Anybody else? Any other questions? Is this clear? <laughs> so if you say, so do I, so am I, people usually say, me too. Neither do I, neither am I, or neither can I. People usually say, me either. But the book is also giving you extra options so you guys have other uh, possibilities and not just the traditional ones that we usually hear. Um, any questions or comments here? At the beginning, I, I think that it's a, a little confused because um, we are and um, we have the, the custom the custom to to answer in the in the in the traditional way that we exactly. know right exactly and in this case i think that it's necessary to memorize this kind of right so of it, answer, right, right. Uh, and that's a very good point that you're saying ricardo if you don't have any problem saying me too or me either it's time to start using new options. So when you start using something, when someone else uh, says it, uh, you, uh, you understand easier. Okay. So definitely. Um, any other questions or comments? No? Okay, so let me uh, show you Another one it's right here. Okay. Do you see the image? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. I need a volunteer to read the first column, please. The first the one on the left. Anybody. Me, teacher. All right, thank you. Admit, advise, appreciate, avoid, begin, complete, consider, deny, discuss. Good, all right. Uh, any questions with the ones she just read? So we have admit, advise, appreciate, avoid, begin, complete, consider, deny, and discuss. Are we okay with that list? Yes. What I mean, deny, teacher. Deny. Uh, does anybody know how to explain deny? In the yes, deny, deny is to say no to someone, to any request or any, any answer, right? Right. It's like to say no. It's like to say no. <laughs> right. So if, if I said, uh, I saw uh, Rodolfo, with another woman that is not his wife. So when you ask Rodolfo and says, look, I saw you with someone else, uh, it's normal if he denies it. He will say, no, it must have been someone else, not me. 
Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. All right. And um, another volunteer to read the second part, please. Me, teacher. All right. Thank you. Forget, keep, miss, postpone, prefer, quit, recommend, regret, and suggest. Good. Thank you. Good. Okay. Um, any questions there with the part he just read? No. No? Okay, so um, once again, I will assign you to work in pairs. Remember that these verbs here, you, you can say, well, she admitted sending the email. You need to admit saving money is a good idea for your family. So he advised selling the house so we could get some money. So your mission is to choose one column and make sentences with each one of them. Um, that means, that yes. Means that in this case, we cannot uh, to use the verb in the base form. It is not correct then. Yes, yes you can. Because um, I can say, don't forget to send the letter. Or I can say, don't forget sending the letter. Ah, okay. Sure. But the idea is that you guys use these verbs here uh, and, 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 and use them with, uh, with a following verb in, in the German way. So let me see. Uh, Going, 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 going. Did you receive the image? Yes. All right. So let me assign you once again. Uh -huh. Breakout rooms. Da -da -da. Okay. Here we go. Next. Who's I next? have to. Okay. Please. I appreciate you call me with my last name. Okay. Yeah. Heavy That's right. 
Okay. Um, I have boy to drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> okay. Or I, I have to avoid... drinking. Oh, okay, drinking a lot of coffee. <laughs> uh -huh. I try to avoid a uh, lot of people. Okay. And wait, I lose the list. Begin. Um, the other is. I am admitting my mistake. You are admitting your mistake. Yes. Okay. Can you use admit with another verb that starts with the I uh, that finishes with the ing? For example, I admit calling you at one a.m. It was a big mistake. I admit not paying you back the money that you gave me. Can you use it with another verb in the ING form with Jaren? Okay. Okay. I admit needing a Needing to speak more English. Okay, I admit needing to speak more English. Good. Okay. Um, I suggest you don't fight with the with your parents. I keep the calm when. I angry. What was this sentence again? I mean, what was the sentence you made? Uh, I um, I keep the calm. I keep calm. Okay, but when you say calm, remember the idea is that you use keep, uh, for example, you say, I keep saving money. I keep sending messages. I keep telling you uh, the truth. So the following word has to be with the ING form. Um, you see what I mean? I keep him doing exercise. Okay, I keep doing exercise. Very good. Fine. This topic deserves discuss later or discuss right now, right? Okay. Miss? The other is forget. Forget. Uh, forget. forget. I never uh, forget oh. your number. Okay. okay. Um, I always forget my pocket. Your what? I listen that they say. <laughs> appreciate, appreciate. 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 C-I sounds like S-A, so you say appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate. 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 Yes, appreciate. appreciate. I appreciate feeling in this, uh, in this, in this, in my, in my, next to me. Okay. Who's next? Hello. Gloria, Isaac. <laughs> I'm going to give you other example. I appreciate putting 
this paper for me. Uh -huh. Yes. We finish. Okay. Give me a second. I prefer to eat pizza than pollo campero. Okay. I recommend the new movie with Sylvester Stallone. I don't remember the other actor. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. The most important yeah, does, is... Does Sylvester have a, a new movie? No. I, I think in him only that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, he, so he's the first actor that came to your mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the case. All right. And quit. Quit. Ah, oh, yeah. I quit. Uh -huh. Okay. In the morning is necessary. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's necessary all day. All day, okay. <laughs> and okay. the next. Again. Um. What was the other one? Is begin teacher. Okay. Um, I so, begin uh -huh. referring to this book. Okay. I begin understanding about the gerund. All right, good. I begin working next month. All right. Okay. The order is complete. Complete. Let me... I complete doing every exercise in English or in the platform. I complete uh, doing exercise in the platform. Good. Yes. The next is consider. 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 I consider, consider working today. I consider buying a new car. Okay. okay. I consider I consider trying me with a patent. I saw the 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 I don't know who do you say announcio? Announcement. Announcement on Announcement. Facebook, and then and then I applied and made the exam, and, and I start in this level. It's the first time that I'm study uh, with with this program. Okay. And um, what did you study before? Um, I I got an scholarship program from ITCA. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. 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 All right. I think we gotta go back to the main uh, main session. Okay. Okay, teacher.
All right, are there any questions with the exercise uh, we just did? Any questions or comments? No? No, teacher. No, teacher. All right, so let's do an exercise. It's here, share stream. Here. Okay, do you see the questions? Yes. Okay. So how would you uh, change number one to a normal sentence? So I don't like by commute bus. What would be the correct form for that sentence? I don't like commuting by bus. Good. I don't like commuting by bus. I don't like commuting by bus. Do you guys remember the meaning of the word commute? No, teacher. No. Okay. Anybody else remembers commute? Me about the travel every day? Yes. It means it's related to travel every day. So I ask you, how do you commute? Do you commute by car? Do you commute by bus? Do you commute walking? Is how you go from one place to another. That is commute. Okay, what about number two? I'm not very good at... I am not very good at learning for a foreign language. Language. foreign languages yes i'm not very good at learning foreign languages very good what will be the answer for number three i'm good at solving problems at, at solving uh, problems other people okay someone else wants to give it a try number three I'm good at solving Problem. other people's problems. problems. Yeah. Yes, other people's problems. Very good. Number four, I hate. Uh huh. I hate working. Working. I hate working with a group. A group or a team. Good. Good. Very good. I hate working with a group or a team. Do you prefer to work in teams or alone? Depend. Depends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it depends on the people around you and it also yeah. depends on what the work is. Right, I agree yeah. with you. All right, what about number five? I can't stand. Feeling. Yeah. Sitting, uh huh. In a long meeting. I can't stand sitting in a long meeting. Do you remember the meaning of I can't stand? What's the meaning of I can't stand? It's like a. Yeah, when you don't like something. Okay, what about number six? I'm interested in... Manage managing. My, managing my time better. Good. I'm interested in managing my time better. Good. What about number seven? I don't mind... Talking. Talking on a cell phone. Talking on a cell phone. And number eight? I enjoy. I enjoy eating, eating, eating out eating every day. lunch out, eating lunch out every day. Good. I enjoy eating lunch out every day. All right. What is your favorite lunch, by the way? What is your favorite lunch? Ribs. Ribs. Beef or pork? 
fork. Fork. Pasta. Pasta. In my Pasta. case, beef. In barbecue. Okay. Oh. Bar barbecue sauce. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Who else? Your favorite food? Mexican food teacher. Mexican food is so good. It's so delicious. Yes. Anybody else wants to share your favorite lunch? No? I love the sushi. We have uh, shrimp. Okay. Served with uh, a tuna. All right. Good. All right. Good. Okay. So it's time to finish again. Um, once again, sorry that I incorporated late. I'm going to ask my boss what we can do to make up for the 15 minutes. Um, any questions or comments before we are dismissed? No, teacher. No? no. All right, no. so once again, Happy thank you very day. much. Thank you. Happy thank day. you, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Have a good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Sleep well. Bye. Bye.